Welcome to Brian Beeler's Rounding Them Up. It's going to be October 9th, for sale, 1970-1979 Chevy Camaro. They're all going to be 5K and under. This is going to be my pick of the day on the banner and the thumbnail here. It's not the only car we're looking at. But like all these subscribers that have requested 70 to 74 and 75 to 79, it's easy to do to drop a request. You just subscribe to the channel. It's free. It doesn't cost you absolutely anything. You just hit the subscribe button and drop in the comments below the make them out you're looking for, and I'll round them up for you. So with all that said, let's get on to our search. It's going to be Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist. No, I don't own any of these cars. So you have to reach out and contact people if you want to buy one. You can't ask me a week from now, a month from now, two months from now, how much is that one? I don't know. These aren't mine. But I have put them in price order from lowest to highest. And I've showed you exactly how to find them. So this very first one, 1977 Chevrolet Camaro, California area, it'll come up 800 bucks. So just like every Rounding Them Up episode, when they come out and they premiere, they're all currently listed for sale. Every car in this episode. Says he's selling 77 Camaro body. Was going to rebuild. Just don't have the time now. No engine, no transmission, no paperwork. That's what you get with the very first one we kick off the episode with. The body looks great. I did like the aluminum bumper years. I like a lot of these cars. I got to tell you, out of all the cars that I've had, this is probably the one that I have definitely cut up the most of. So I used to buy these cars all the time for 50 100 bucks, sitting in somebody's backyard with back frame rails rotted out. So you have to watch the frames on these cars, trunk pans, if all that's rotted out, just find a different one. Save yourself a lot of work. It's my opinion. I have, again, cut up about 20 of them. This one's going to be Columbus, Ohio, reduced. It's going to be Craigslist. So that's how you find it. Go to Craigslist, Columbus, Ohio, punch in reduced, 79 Camaro sitting in a barn. You'll find this car. 850 bucks. It's been here for 19 days. And I dig the wheels. These wheels would look awesome on like a 70s Chevy van. That's me. Not a bad looking car, right? 850 bucks. No title or what? So it's clean title. It's V8. Needs restored. Bought it in 18, 2018. Passage side floors rusted out. Sunroof's gone. No hood. Bring a trailer. Now, it can't be good sitting outside with no sunroof in it. So I bet the floor pans are rotted out. It's going to be 1978 Chevrolet Camaro here. Back on Facebook Marketplace. It's going to be Arkansas. 900 bucks on this one. It's a 350 small block Chevy. Doesn't run. Turbo 350. Rear end still in the car. Boy, it don't look like it though, right? 900 the best offer. No inner fenders in it. Yep, it's 79. Got the plastic 78. Got the plastic bumpers. Again, I have cut up a lot of these cars. It's going to be 1979 Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 Coupe 2D for two door. 1200 bucks 13 weeks ago. I haven't had or owned one of these Camaros in decades. So it's been over 20 years since I probably owned a Camaro. But they sure are a cheap way to kick off getting into automobiles and building stuff. I had a hood scoop in the back seat. Gotta love having a big hood scoop coming with it, right? Had a hole cut in the hood, too. The rockers look great. Looks like a great first project. $1,200. bucks. i have not never had a car before or a hot rod. Now, Chevrolet Camaro would definitely be a great option to getting started into the car industry and building your own stuff. This is going to be Craigslist. 1979 Camaro Wreck. That's how this one's listed. It's Virginia. 1500 bucks. It's been here for three days. It says Wreck. Looks like they've tore most of the total parts off of it. Still got a nice set of wheels on it. Still got an engine sitting in it. As you can see, the, a parts car has a 350 to 727. What the hell are we talking about here? says, as you can see, parts car has a 350-373 stroker engine with a 350 turbo transmission and shift kit. We'll start and run. We'll put in gear and we'll move. I'm selling as is with a salvage title. So it's been totaled and never fixed and re-inspected. I don't know where the bad damage is at. Maybe it's in that front subframe. 
look like parts. 1979 Chevrolet Camaro, $1,800. Listed nine weeks ago, Alabama. I do like the Z28 stickers, man. When they were all stickered up, these were some cool cars, man. I like the white with the orange stripes, the black with the orange stripes. These blue ones with the stripes were cool, too. This is not my car, it says. That's not my car, either. You need the number for the owner, just text and he'll give it to you or PM him. I'm asking about the Trans Am. If asking about the Trans Am, it's six grand. So apparently this car's for sale too for six grand. It looks nicer than the Camaro. So that's the one I would go and ply about. It'd be the Trans Am. Alabama, been on here nine weeks. Gonna be another Facebook marketplace. 1978 Chevrolet Camaro Coupe 2D. 1800 bucks. This is six weeks ago. It's gonna be in Arkansas. I definitely hate those newer Camaro wheels on these later cars, but that's me. If you dig it, well, it comes with a set. No engine, no trans, and again, no inner fenders. If you are new to building yourself a hot rod, don't leave the inner fenders out trying to save on weight. You'd be better off keeping all that dirt and road grime off your engine. Just a little bit of advice. Clean title on this one. Clean title, clean title. That's how he starts the ad. It says no motor or transmission. Common rust. Trunk's pretty solid. Frame rails are good shape. That's what you want to hear. It's 1800 best offer. Cash talks, no trades. Can deliver in a reasonable central area. Check it out. 1800 bucks. We're still some great prices on these Camaros, right? 1978 Chevrolet Camaro Coupe 2D, 1800 bucks. This is six weeks ago, California. Obviously, the ones from 75 to 79 don't carry a, a big a price tag as the ones from 70 to 74. Two piece bumpers like Capri sitting beside it. Two door, too. That's some searches we got coming up soon. $1,800, the best offer on this one. That's all it says for description. It's California. It was six weeks ago. It's like a pretty decent car for $1,800. How are you going to beat that for your first hot rod, right? And I'll tell you what I really like is that original color. On to another. 1979 Chevrolet Camaro Coupe 2D. Two grand. Listed two weeks ago. PA can't get there fast enough. Again, looking for your first hot rod, you're going to be real happy with these wheels after you wet sand and buff the shit out of them and put some elbow grease into these. These things are going to be real pretty. So it's got a nice set of wheels. No T-tops, no sunroof, no seats. Oh, there's a seat that I'd throw away. That's me, clean title. Roller, no motor, no trans, so you're going to need your own drive train to throw in it. He will trade for a decent truck, Jeep, that you can put a plow on. Yeah, that's a cool first car right there. Two grand, I like the price too, even without an engine trans. 1978 Chevrolet Camaro Coupe 2D, Oregon. Two grand, three weeks ago. Looking for a four-wheel drive Camaro? We got one. Got lockouts on it too. Hello, thanks for looking at this buggy. It's a unique for sure. 78 Camaro sitting on a K5 Blazer. 454 big block, four-speed transmission. Motor hasn't... Motor had had a few small items removed, such as the battery, the fuel line, the belt, little things. Ran and drove when parked, asking two grand. You can't get there fast enough. Looking for a big block manual four speed blazer. I need a body, but uh, might be able to part that body out for a little bit of money. It actually looks pretty decent. Looking for Camaro four wheel drive. Boom. Oregon. 1978 Chevrolet Camaro base two grand it's gonna be listed in California sold as is with a bill of sale it's pretty nasty he does have a video doesn't sound like there's any audio to it got a busted windshield had painted trim. Door handle wasn't broke, I don't think. These are real real common for breaking door handles. Tail lights look like junk. Bumper cover's pretty hit. This car is pretty hit. Sun beaten. 
right down to the original Bumblebee yellow. I don't know. Could be. So he's got tan interior. Check it out. That's something you're interested in. It's been on here. Doesn't say how long. So that could be a really old ad. 1977 Chevrolet Camaro LT Coupe 2D for two door. $24.99. Listed nine weeks ago. This one's going to be in Nevada. I like that Buick with the honeycomb wheels. This interior looks like it's full of dirt and sand. Uh, there you got the T-tops in it in that picture. That and the fender, man, that interior, look at that. That is horrible, man. Straight out the desert. You know the sad part is, is? All those people in Nevada, man. That's like a common thing. Every car we see in Nevada, that looks like underneath the hood right there. Ask me why I don't live out there. Let me Fort Collins here. It's gonna be Denver, Colorado. It's back on the Craigslist. 78 Camaro Z28, 2,500 bucks. Again, we got newer Camaro wheels on there. I just don't like the newer wheels on them, the older Camaros. But that's me. Those look like they had some replacement floors, and there you go. I'm gonna put LS in one. Looks like that's what it's coming with. It's got a 5.3 liter coming with it. It's a cool project. 2500 bucks, man. How can you beat that? It's going to be back on the Facebook Marketplace here, and it's going to be 1975 Chevrolet Camaro Brown. I probably got it posted. 2500 bucks two days ago, New Jersey. Classic car. Call Sam if interested and have any questions. Doesn't say nothing about a title. It does say automatic transmission. Now, the automatic transmission's wrong. This has a manual in it. So my guess is it's a six-cylinder car. Something you're interested in, New Jersey area, check them out. $2,500 bucks 2 days ago, can't get there fast enough, check that one out. It's got a V8 in it, I'd buy that one in a heartbeat. 1978 Chevrolet Z28, $2,500, bucks. This is a week ago, Washington. This car almost got the pick of the day. It's a green Z28. The brand new tires and rims are an extra $700. Look how nasty it is under the hood. Damn, right? Clean title. 78 Z28, 354 bar automatic, factory tack, gauges, cruise control, power disc brakes, steering. Been sitting in Tri City since 03. Clean title in hand. Selling out the wheels and tires. $2,500. Add $700 for the brand new wheels. So there you go. $2,700 with the wheels on it. I absolutely love these Z wheels on the correct car. That looks absolutely great. For the price, couldn't get there fast enough. Check that one out. 1979. I don't know why they didn't pressure wash that engine bay before listing it, but hey, that's me. 1978 Chevrolet Camaro RS Coupe 2D 2500. That's how he's got it posted. Looks like they hit it with the hose, or maybe it just rained. I don't think it's going to help to make that red shine, right? Yeah, the paint's wore right off of it. It's going to be Minnesota. Elderbrock carb on it with thankfully no air cleaner. Selling my project car. It's a six cylinder. So this is one that they did a V8 swap on. Engine's been rebuilt in the past. Four volt main. Needs to be trailered. Hey, looking for a 79 RS. We found you one. 1981 so my bad wasn't supposed to include any 81s on here but you can see they're the same same body style somewhat as a 78 79 so we're just going to leave it but requests were all cut off were 70 1979 no subscribers asked to see 80s or 81s so that said on to another one that was in georgia 1976 Chevrolet Camaro, 2500 bucks. This is six days ago, Michigan. It says engine ran, transmission was bad. It was parked several years ago. Good glass, cracked windshield, pictured. Trim, no major dents. Rust expected from the yard. Sitting in the yard. So now you have to see how rusty it is on the bottom. But it's all together. I'm digging it, and the price is absolutely great. 2500 bucks. For a completely together 76 Camaro. You gotta dig that. 1978 Chevrolet Camaro 2750 listed 12 weeks ago, and this one's gonna be Nebraska. It's 
pretty solid on the bottom. Showed you pitchers. Scoops missing. Inner fenders are missing. I don't know what's up with all the inner fenders being yanked out of these cars. Does have a hole in the back floor pan. 78 Camaro ran good about six months ago. Haven't messed with it since. Had some rust, but nothing terrible. Open the trades. Mess with any questions. 12 weeks ago. Check them out. Back to Craigslist. This one's going to be York PA 1977 Chevrolet Camaro LT 2995. It's been out here for six days. I like that chin spoiler. Made some pretty wild stuff in the 70s, right? Got a Krager in the trunk all rusted out. This car looks great. $29.95. I like the blue with the white interior. That one's worth checking out for sure. Four Seal 77 Camaro. It's got a 354 barrel, 8 cylinder automatic, power steering, power brakes. Car sold as is. Does not run. The price is $29.95 plus tax title and application fee. So it's at a car lot. You've seen it. We're up to three grand now. This is going to be Tennessee 78 Camaro. September special price. Three grand. 22 days ago. I dig the keystones. No T tops, no sunroof. No dash, no interior, no door skins. They have seats in there. I don't know, three grand. There's a description. I want to read it out. It says title status is missing. I just on to another one. Seattle, 7980. That's how he's got it. 7980 Z28 Camaro. That's how you find it. Three grand two days ago. This could have been the pick of the day with better pictures. I say that because it's a 350 small block. Truck block, 4-bolt main, 650 Holly on an Elderbrock, 71 Corvette heads, turbo 400 automatic with a shift kit. But then it says reinforced frame. So reinforced frame tells me that the frame was rotted out. With that said, I would pass. This one's going to be in Montana. Chevy Camaro, 1973, 3 grand, 5 days ago. 73 Camaro, no engine, no transmission, one feet, 50 speedo, rusty rockers, floors, clean Idaho title, you pick it up, three grand. Title coming from Boise M DMV. Want a 73? Three grand? Get on it, because we didn't find many of these. And this is one you're going to want to pro street, just by going through those photos right there real quickly. I can tell you the spots is bad in this car. And it's right in front of the Lee Spring. So you definitely don't want a car that's got holes in the front of the frame and Lee Springs. So plan on tubbing it. 1974 Chevrolet Camaro LT Coupe 2D, 3 Grand Texas on this one. It's been out here for 14 weeks, clean title roller. New right rear quarter, left quarter, front fender, door skin. Sounds like it's got some new parts, sheet metal on it. The four inch cow. This car looks great. The one with the nice body that's had all new metal put on it. You have to check out the frame rails and floor pans and make sure those weren't all rotted out, too. But there you go. Clean title, Texas, 14 weeks ago. Facebook Marketplace again, 1978 Chevrolet Camaro RS Coupe 2D. 3500 bucks two weeks ago. This is going to be in Tennessee. Really bad photos. We mentioned all the time it's really easy to go to edit on your phone and crop these and you won't look like the guy that posted bad photos you'll have full size photos like this so the engines all ripped apart to give you close photos of that and then he shows you an engine all together so let's see what we got 78 Camaro rally sport it's old that's what he said it's old it has problems like any car four years old but the frame isn't Swiss cheese New gaskets and cam and interior to be desired. Has two racing seats for it as well. Runs like a top. But has a vacuum issue. Yep, here we go with the video. First car we got to hear run. You seen it right. Got some really nice looking trailer wheels on it too.
price is 3500 bucks. I'm digging it again. You know, if you're a youngster looking to build yourself your first car, you're wondering if a Camaro might be the right option. Absolutely. The Chevy stuff is a lot cheaper than all your other manufacturers, and you're going to find these cars cheap. 1972 Chevrolet Camaro, $3,900. That said, doesn't mean that there's not guys that want a lot of money for some of these cars. Some of these cars are, you know, close to six figures, guys. want $50,000, dollars $70,000. Looking for a drag car? We found our first one. It's a 72 Pro Street. Got some small back tires on it. If it's listed, it's available. I love that. 72 Camaro split bumper roller. Roller meaning no engine, no trans. It does have a 12 bolt with 433 gears. Went 930s with a small block. That's what he's saying. Absolute giveaway, $3,900. There's a race car and there is no title. That's what you're looking for is a Camaro drag car. Check that one out. On to another one. It's going to be Washington, D.C. here, 1979 Camaro. Yep, it's Craigslist, 26 days. This will be only here on here for a couple more days unless he's updated it, and he has not. So, need gone soon. Need driveway back. 79 Camaro for sale, 41,000 original miles, redone interior, trunk speakers, 305 with a 350 tranny. Hurt right, 305 car. Don't look all that bad. Cool first project, right? 26 days has been on here. Maybe he'll budge off that four grand. We're still at four grand. 1974 Chevrolet Camaro listed a week ago. This one's going to be in Illinois. 74 Camaro, 350, 350. Says 5,000 or best offer. Shoot him an offer. He's already down a grand. And besides those T tops, T tops covered the whole roof. That's what you're looking for. This is one with some really big T-tops in it. We found you one right there in Illinois. Been on here for a week. Another Facebook marketplace, and it's another 81. So two mistakes on this episode already, but you can see we didn't find all that many considering we're looking 70 through 79 was the search. I don't know. We found just over 40 cars, I think. 5K and under. Listed 11 weeks ago. It's going to be Illinois again. So... T-Top Car Project Berlinetta. Yeah, they did start calling them Berlinettas. So, your first of Berettas or 1981 Camaros. And again, we didn't have subscribers asking for those ones. There you go, with a manual. Yeah, this is a 350 four-speed Borg Warner transmission. $4,200. But, like I said... Subscribers weren't out looking for 80s and 81s. Los Angeles, 1976, Chevy Camaro, 4500 bucks 10 days ago. My bad. I make mistakes on episodes all the time. It's going to be California. Got some serious rust in the back quarters and in the roof. And again, it's a manual. It's a three speed V8, blue paint. I'm sure it was originally a six cylinder. Runs and moves and stops, yard drives. 4500 bucks. looking for one with the three-speed California. Boom, found you one. This one's going to be an El Paso. 1979 Camaro Z28. Back to Craigslist. You heard it right. El Paso. Get yourself some salsa while you're out there picking it up. For sale original 1979 Z28. Don't have the time to work on it. it has the original engine. It used to start and run. Sat for the past 10 years. Selling for 2500 If you take both, I'll make you a deal. I don't know, it sounds like he's got two of them. I didn't notice two different cars. But if that's your area, something you want to check out, El Paso, Texas. It's been here for 16 days. It'll be another 1979 Chevrolet Camaro, 4500 listed five weeks ago. It's going to be Oregon. Clean title. Just needs the bodywork finish, what I said in the picture. Some nice looking wheels. The bodywork definitely looked like it was been started. It sounds a lot better than that last one too. Forty-five hundred bucks. You see it? It's Oregon. Clean title. Camaro Rally Sport runs and drives great. Just needs to be finished, painted, motor and transmissions. Three fifty small block. Three fifty turbo with the shift kit. 
them shift kits are super easy to put in those Chevys and you do you literally are barking the tires after just simply remove a ball put a ball in new gasket valve body back in real simple B&M 1976 Chevrolet Camaro Z28 Coupe 2D I don't know how many of those little B&M shift kits I put in 350 trainees but I can say I blew a whole bunch of them up too so if you have your choice I go with the 400 Maybe you won't have to change as many times as I've changed 352. That's probably why I don't even own a Chevrolet anymore. Now I think about it, I don't even know if I want to get a bow tie again with as many transmissions I've changed. Listed three days ago, it'd be a manual. If I get another Chevy, it will be a manual. Listed three days ago, Florida. Broke too many automatics that want to do all that work anymore. 1976 Z28 Camaro Fresh 383 Stroker. A lot of people like to say they got 383 Strokers too. Clean title in hand, $4,700. Should be a real good runner. Got Corvette wheels on it. Not a bad looking car. It's a 76. And on to another 1980. So, my bad, y'all. I definitely have included, what, three 80, 81s now? Chevrolet Camaro Z28. We're just going to show them. They're on here anyway. And they are the same car, even though they weren't on the requested list. This one was only a day ago. California T-top car. It is the white with the orange stripes. I say, man, it's silver and black. It did. So yeah, this one's not as cool as the ones I like personally. The ones with the orange and red stripes. And 78, 79. Solid car, no rust. Project car does not run. Ran when parked. It's been sitting and will need restoration. Complete car, clean title in his name. You gotta love that. It is California. And he says he does have the T-tops. Imagine how dirty it is inside there. Without them T-tops in there. It'll be Inland Empire. So California again. 1979 Camaro Project Car. Five grand. So we made it to our cutoff. This one's been on here for 23 days. Got some mixed to matched wheels. But it does have some decent looking interior. Cloth at that. Still got the AC on it. Looks like a typical California under the hood. Clean title. 23 days. He hasn't been able to sell that one. Another Craigslist. Going to be Seattle. 1973 Camaro Split Bumper Rolling Project. Five grand, 16 days ago. Looking for a split bumper. We didn't find many on this episode because we stayed under five grand. And again, there's guys wanting astronomical numbers for some of these cars that we're looking at right here. If you want to build one yourself, that's the way to do it. You're going to enjoy it more when it's done. Always say that here in this channel. Build it yourself. Facebook Marketplace. 1979 Chevrolet Camaro Coupe. You're going to go Virginia. Five grand. This one's been here for four days. I absolutely hate the wheels on there. I mean, I, is there anybody that think those look good in this car? Because, man, that just killed the looks of this Camaro. Got a nice hood for it. Nice intake carb. There you go. The wheels look so much better in this car. Really nice set of seats. We're seeing some nice stuff maybe coming with this one. Small block 350, 350 trans. Needs work on the passion side floorboard. Carpet and seats are out of the car. Description and this is the last photo. We'll entertain offers for an older Harley Davidson. It'll be 1978 Chevrolet Camaro LT slash RS. Five grand, one day ago, Minnesota. Some nice trailer wheels. Pretty decent interior. It is a stick shift with a six cylinder still in it. So you're looking for that six cylinder three speed? We found it. Selling for a friend, open to negotiations, clean title. Heard right, six cylinder three speed. I mean, 1978 Chevrolet Camaro, five grand, five days ago, Iowa. 78 Camaro, 350, 350, mild cam, runs and drives fine, but needs some TLC, carb rebuilt, vacuum leak, pan gasket maybe, etc. Body's rough in spots, has some rust. It makes it sound horrible. I don't like the trailer wheels on it. They sure would look nice on your trailer. The paint's hit. It's got a four inch cow, red interior with a carburetor laying in the back seat, driver's seat's hit, seats are junk, Z-gate shifter's junk, even got the plastic junk ass handle on it, 
Steering wheel, I can live with that. The aftermarket gauges in the dash. I don't like this car at all. That's me, but this is your area. You're looking for a project. I don't know. I'd go back and look at some of the earlier ones before I'd spend five grand on that. That's me. Another 1981. Chevrolet Camaro, five grand, listed four days ago. I should just change the search to, through 81. That's how I was actually going to search them. So as I searched them, I did not look for 80 and 81s. So for me to have added these on here, I've got an 81 plate on it. Oh, they are the same car, y'all. This is another manual. Got a big old tack in it. Camaro 350. The Stroker Crit Hurst 4. Lots interest. So that sounds like it got a Hurst 4 speed in it. No inner fenders. Check it out. Looking for one with a sunroof. 4 speed. 350. We found it. 5 grand. And then New York. I mean, 1977 Chevrolet Camaro Z28 Coupe 2D, five grand. It's gonna be Ohio. I definitely dig the uh, aluminum slots. They need to be polished up a little bit. But again, another manual. Engines ripped down. Got some nice interior coming with it. Another engine coming with it, maybe. 1977 Camaro Z28 LT, four-speed manual transmission and engine in it needs rebuilt. Or have another engine to be put in it. So there you go. Sounds like it's come with two engines. It is a four speed. Got some aluminum slots on it already. I dig that back window visor. Cool car. Got some patches already done to it. Five grand. Ohio. With a title. 1979 Chevrolet Camaro. Five grand a day ago. Kentucky. That Ohio one should have probably been the pick of the day. But listed a day ago. Kentucky on this one. Some Pontiac wheels on it. Don't look that great, to be honest with you. For five grand, I think we've seen uh, some just as good as that. But check it out if it was your area. 1979 Chevrolet Camaro 350. That's how he's got this posted. It's going to be Cambridge, Ohio, listed a week ago. So he's got a couple of them. 79 350 automatic, five grand or best offer. It runs great, just needs TLC. And with some Keystones. Automatic. Looks all original. No T-tops, no sunroof. I dig it. Cool car. One more. One more on Facebook Marketplace here. 1977 Chevrolet Camaro Type LT. Five grand listed one day ago, Kentucky. So it takes a little bit more than 4K. Sorry. Listen, fellas. No more joy rides unless you have cash and ready to buy. So apparently a few people have checked the car out and they haven't bought it. Five grand. Interior don't look bad at all. It could be those aluminum trailer wheels. It's killing it. It's like you had a video here. A video of no video. So there's no video on the video. Here we go. Reloaded it. It might play. Oh, it's a burnout. It was horrible footage though. If it loads any better, play again. Yeah, that was pretty weak. Five grand I'd pass. Here's my pick of the day. So pick of the day goes to Seattle, Washington. We haven't given Seattle, Washington a pick in quite a while, but you see it. It was posted a day ago, and it's the only 1970 Chevrolet Camaro we found for under five grand. And you see it right. Price is twenty five hundred bucks. Nineteen seventy Camaro. With title, needs full restoration, original V8 car, gold exterior with black interior. No motor, no transmission, comes to bucket seats. You heard it, it's a Papa John car. Gold with black interior with a clean title, posted one day ago for $2,500. you are not going to be able to get there fast enough to buy that one. And it does look like it's got a sunroof in the roof that's going to be fixed. $2,500, looking for $70? Boom, we found you one. So we're going to be right back on here with another request for some more Camaros. we got probably five or six subscribers that want to see those first gen 67 to 69. So that's what we'll be back with next. I'm not sure to be on after this one, but if so, you'll know already. So thanks for watching. Again, if there's a classic car you're looking for, it's free and easy to do. Just subscribe to the channel, drop in the comments below, and we will round them up for you. Like always, be good, be safe, and peace out.